Hello everyone, I'm Sonny, and today I wanna make a book review of Think Again by Adam Grant. And this book is a thought provoking and insightful book that challenges readers to re revaluate their beliefs and assumptions. Grant, a renowned organizational physicalist and professor at the Warren School, argues that in today's rapidly changing world, it's essential to adopt a mindset of continuous learning and growth. One of the key takeaways from the book is the importance of being open to changing our minds. Grant emphasizes that uh, being willing to uh, reconsider our opinions and beliefs can lead to uh, better dis decision making and uh, personal growth. He provides numerous examples of individuals and organizations that have benefited from embracing a more flexible and open-minded approach. Another key theme is think again is the concept of intellectual humility. Grant argues that acknowledging our own limitations and being open to feedback and new information is crucial for personal and professional success. He encourages readers to cultivate to cultivate a mindset of courageous and a willingness to engage in constructive dialogue with others. Overall, think again as a compelling and engaging reader read that challenges readers to rethink their assumptions and approach life with a more open and flexible mindset. Grant's insights and practical advice make this book a valuable resource for anyone looking to navigate the complexities of the modern world with greater clarity and reliance. The importance of this topic is in the fast-paced and uh, ever-changing world of an organization behavior, the ability to think critically and adapt to new information is critical to success. Adam Grant's rethink uh, into the importance of being open-minded, intellectually humble, and constantly challenging our assumptions. For students of organizational behavior, this book provides valuable insights that can help navigate complex workplace dynamics and foster a culture of innovation and growth. The three most important ideas, firstly, is embracing cognitive flexibility. Grants, uh, uh, stresses the importance of being willing to reconsider our beliefs and our opinions in light of new evidence. In the field of organizational behavior, this minus can lead to more effective decision making and problem solving. And the second point is that cultivate intellectual humility, acknowledging our own uh, limitations and being open to feedback is essential for personal and uh, professional growth. By forcing a culture of intellectual humanity within the organization, students can recreate a more inclusive and collaborative work environment. And the third point is that engage in constructive dialogue. Grant uh, emphasizes the value of having meaningful conver conversations with others, even if they hold different points of view. By actively seeking different points of view and uh, engaging in respect for dialogue, students can expand uh, their understanding and uh, improve their critical thinking skills. And uh, the two characteristic ideas, first is over uh, facetious on individual minus. While Grant's focus on individual minus is valuable, it would be beneficial to explore how organization structures and uh, systems support or handle the development of growth minders, minus within uh, teams and organizations and lack of in-depth case studies, this book could benefit from more in-depth case studies or real-world examples to illustrate practical applications of the concepts discussed. Providing concrete examples will make the ideas more relevant and actionable for the reader. And the three practical tips first is start a challenge your assumptions journal. Students are encouraged to keep a journal where students can uh, regularly reflect on their beliefs and assumptions, challenge themselves to think critically and consider alternative 
um, perspectives. Foster a culture of debate and dialogue. Uh, organize group discussions or debate in organization behavior classes that encourage uh, us to engage in uh, constructive conservations and practice active listening skills and uh, uh, seek different points of view. Uh, we are encouraged to actively seek different points of view and engage with people from different backgrounds and experiences. This can help us uh, understanding and enhance our ability to think critically. Now, in summary, uh, Adam Grant Think again is a must read for organizational behavior students seeking to develop practical thinking skills and adaptability in today's rapidly changing world. By embracing the key ideas and lessons in the book, students can improve their problem solving skills, foster a culture of innovation, and tackle the complex of modern workplace with confidence and reliance. That's all. Thank you.